Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sasha and I'm here with another quick video. As you guys can see from the title, today I'll be doing a redo wash and go on an old wash and go for Lazy Naturals. If you guys wanna see how I get this redone wash and go, you guys see off from the thumbnail, from dry to nice and defined and moisturized hair again without doing my whole wash day process because a girl got ain't got time for that. So if you want to know how I do it, how quick and easy, keep on watching. So first thing, I'm going to show you guys products. So as we all know, refreshing your wash and goes technically means that you're just redoing what you already did. Even if it's refreshing a twist out, refreshing a braid out, refreshing cornrows, it's just redoing. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're not washing, we're not conditioning, we're not deep conditioning, we're just restyling technically. So the main thing I do is warm water, just because warm water opens up the follicles, therefore helps penetrate product more and better. So I have my little spray bottle here. It's with lukewarm water. It's not too hot, just enough where my hair can actually feel the difference in temperature. So I have this in the side. Um, one, keep in note that your hair already has product in it. So therefore, there's not a really, there's no necessary need to add more product unless your hair needs it. So you have to be careful because you are adding new product on top of old product. So depending on your hair, you know your hair better than I do. I know my hair, so therefore I know my hair does not need as much product because as soon as I put the water in it, the product that was sitting in my hair or that did not penetrate my hair for two weeks will still be on my hair. And I'll show you guys that in a few seconds. So three things, water warm water and then any cream or leave-in of your choice I use cream just because I want something to give me more moisture like a lot of moisture just last me for the following week I don't really do a leave-in because leave-ins are pretty light and I choose to use the last product that I put on my hair that is not gel because I just feel like to me logically it just makes more sense I'd rather layer something like the same product on top of the same product um, just in case something does happen <clears throat> I'm sorry I don't know what the hell is wrong with my voice today just in case something does happen that um, it doesn't cause too much buildup it doesn't cause too much flaking because girl I deal with so much flaking and flaking when it comes to wash and goes or just any style it's like trial and error you just got to learn your hair and figure out what works so it's gonna be warm water second is your leave-in or cream of choice and mine is going to be the Cantu natural hair moisturizing curl activator cream and I've spoken about this multiple times so that's gonna be for the cream so after the cream I go straight on to my eco styler gel and the gel is a is basically what hold this style together for so long so i do not miss out on this step so when i say that products can be interchangeable when it comes to rewashing or redoing your wash and go it means sometimes i may just spray my hair and have enough product that is like resurfaced from like the first wash and go and i could just layer on eco style gel if i feel like my hair needs a little moisture if it's a little more dry especially at the crown therefore i'll go back in with just a little like even a penny size amount of this cream then go in with my gel so we're just it's basically just feeling out your hair and seeing what your hair wants at the moment because then again you're, you're just you're just refeeding your hair re-moisturizing your hair your hair is not you're not doing a whole wash day, wash day routine, so therefore some of these steps are not needed. Water, cream, and gel. Three, three things that I only use. So, after establishing the products I use, I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair, because I do this in sections. Because you see, as you guys can see, this is a lot. And my hair is like, kind of tangled up. So this is gonna be a, a slight detangling session. It's not gonna be too intense because it's like at the end of the day, it's supposed to be fast. It's supposed to be fast, wash and go, and its name is gonna it's supposed to be. It's supposed to live up to its name, wash and go. So therefore, we don't want to spend too much time doing it. So 
Let me take my ring off because your girl ain't trying to lose hair. She ain't trying to lose hair. So, I have this small chunk. I always start off with the back just because it makes a little more sense. Much easier compared to everywhere else. So I take the little spray bottle here with warm water and then I just dampen my hair. And one thing that I love about rewashing, like redoing my wash and go is that my hair isn't soaking wet so it's damp. So therefore my wash and goes dry so much more faster. So much more faster. And if you do your own wash and goes, you know when you do day one after a whole shampoo deep conditioning and like conditioning session and like doing your whole like styling like routine with your products you know your hair takes like hours to dry if you're using a diffuser or if you're letting it air dry it takes like three days my hair used to take four days to fully dry from the roots to the ends guys um not anymore not anymore so therefore when i would do my fresh wash and goes I would let my hair air dry with no product overnight so it's more so damp than wet people say yeah you need um, to get the best results you gotta do your wash and goes on wet hair sis no no because my wash and go will be it will still be wet by the time I, I rewash it which is ridiculous I'm not doing that so I would say damp hair if you ain't got time for that damp hair is the best way to go so let me lower you guys down so you guys can see so i'm gonna start by dampening my hair your girl got places to beat so she gotta hurry up so this is my hair damp you always do a slight little detangle session because girl let me tell you this you do not want to go washing your hair and have a whole matted section because you just throw on product. Then again, like it's natural hair, it deserves TLC. Regardless if you're not really doing a whole wash day routine, you still need to take care of your hair whenever you're touching your hair. So therefore, always be gentle and, and be nice and kind to your hair. So therefore, I did a little detangle session right here so it's not too much not too heavy you guys can see the little fallout this is two weeks of two weeks of shedding so this is not breakage it's just shedding so that's a little bit of that section and I honestly do shed a lot I have a lot of hair so that used to worry me that used to worry me on why I would have a nice chunk of a like of a ball of hair but I just realized that's just my hair Lies my hair sheds a lot and I do extend my um, style so therefore the longer you leave your hair alone when you when it comes to wash day you're gonna have more shedding your hair sheds over a hundred strands of hair a day so therefore don't worry about the ball of hair that you see unless it's like honestly like scary then i would say maybe you should you know look more into it so that let me show you guys a little bit of it it's gonna be my hair re-wet re-moisturized as you guys can see you can see a little bit of like i don't know if you guys can see you can see a little bit of like what is it like like chunkiness like it looked like it will flake and that's only because of the older product that was in my hair resurfacing due to the fact that i'm adding water to it so there's no need for adding to add so much water and then so much product because your hair is already going to be reusing the product that i had already so i go in with my ego nice amount if you guys know me if you've been watching my channel y'all know that your girl loves love love loves her her some joe
So I go in with um, the amount of gel that I feel like my hair needs. And it's all about trial and error, guys. Like, I just know what to do and how my hair should feel in order for me to get my wash and goes to look a certain way. So it's just learning your hair, filling it out, training your hair and all that stuff. So this is just a little section of hair that I did and I'm not done because I usually do shingle. And I've said this in a previous video that shingling l makes my hair last so much longer than like just raking it. So therefore I go in with a little more product in the back. A little more product, make sure I get the ends. And then make sure that the roots are not like deep, like are not knotted. Like I make sure my roots are not knotted. You know why? Cause I will, that's like sabotaging like my wash day when I actually go to do my wash day. I do not want to spend an hour, more than an hour, I already spent an hour in the shower, detailing my hair. Mm, no. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so I'm going to shingle. So you guys can see, shingling is my best friend. Shingle. It doesn't matter, like I don't really, I honestly, when I shingle, I grab the, the biggest chunk of that curl just because like the bigger my curls are, the longer like it's, they last, if that makes sense. So I said this in my previous video that the more product in my hair, the longer my hair lasts and the kinkier it is the longer let the wash and goes last as well. So I try to get my hair to be as curly as possible. So this is it. After shingling that section, my roots are a little frizzy, but it's okay, it doesn't really matter. Then I just continue. If I do that, make sure that I do, I do section it just because my hair isn't as detangled as it could be, so therefore I want to be a little more careful, a little more gentle with my hair. So, and it's pretty fast. After you start doing the whole shingling method, like, it doesn't take you as much time as people say. People, are, I tell people like, oh, this is a wash and go. And they're just like, how do you do it? I'm like, oh, I shingle. Your girl shingles, and she's like, they're like, what? How you got time to shingle? You shingle every single curl? Yeah, singer, I shingle every single curl. But it don't take me too long to do it, because my hands just move. I could do this with my eyes closed. And it still come out. Bum. See, it took a few seconds to do that. To do that part, and then we're gonna go this part, and we're gonna see how fast it takes me to do it. You just feel it out, feel out the curls twirl and then you let go so you feel out for the curl twirl it and then you let go and then you let go let go okay and boom one section done look at that guys i'm about to fall look at these juicy look at these juicy motherfucking girl, girl girl so that's what I do. I'm gonna finish. Oh, let me show you some. Let me show you some shedding. So this is the shedding that I got from doing that other chunk that you guys saw. My hair's messy. This gets messy, guys. So this is it. Fallout. This is this is shedding from for two weeks in that section. So I'm gonna continue the rest of my hair right here and I will come back when I get to the front Ooh. okay so when I get to 
the front of my left side the left side of my head is more so for C so therefore it product does not penetrate it as as well as my other side which is like what 4B ish 4A 4B ish so I have to use no product on this side and I have to make sure I um, massage the product that I'm lifting off back in it and make sure that it I'm using just gel I don't use cream um just because my hair will not dry this side will not take it if it's too much my hair is like er, too much go away like that's it um so I make sure I just do that make sure I just use product from on top which is the root and then bring it back down bring it back down um if I feel like it needs it then I'll strictly just go to the ends but I have enough product that is lifting to the point where I don't think I need to add any more this side of my head is where I struggle the most with like flaking so therefore I'm like super 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 careful because flaking you all know flaking ruins your damn style like you just don't want to do it like if I finish with swash and go right now even on camera and I have flaking I will be pissed I will be pissed off because all that hard work for your hair to just do you dirty like that um no sis no so therefore learning from trial and ever I know my hair is like beach don't do it okay so I am back and I'm done with my hair as you guys can see so this side took another 20 minutes guys let's just look at my hair and tell me that my hair doesn't look better already please even though it's wet even though it's deceiving because shrinkage is a this not gonna it's not gonna look like this forever um looking at my ends I, I need to trim some of my ends but I trim my hair every season that's gonna be a video for the springtime which is in the few so that video is gonna be out soon so after this when I told you guys <laughs> um as I guys as I told you guys earlier because I am not doing a fresh wash and go my hair isn't soaking wet so therefore my hair is just damp so my hair will dry much faster like now compared to day one take me up to 30 to 45 minutes to get my hair a hundred percent dry from the ends to the roots so that's a plus for redoing your wash and go so now my hair is done i did what i had to do a look at it again so you guys look at the ends this ends right here and this is how it looks so i'm gonna go in with my diva I'm gonna go in with my Diva Curl dryer, the Diva dryer. Um, it's not the best dryer head for my curls, for me personally, for four, four type hair. Um, I got this as a gift, as a Christmas gift two years ago, and I've just learned to work around the the nozzle head. So um, I would get one of those diffusers that go directly head on but i'm cheap this was expensive why not use it it works perfectly fine so i'm gonna use it okay guys so this is the end result here after it's been fluffed stretched and after i've taken the gel cast off so this is how the curls look it's a little more fluffier but as you guys know if you're a natural day one hair isn't the best hair so same thing with the redo wash and go as the days go on hair will get bigger fluffier and all that stuff but if you like the finishing girl like you gonna rock with this you know so this is it if you guys like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and follow me on all my social media accounts you guys are staring at it the entire video so don't act like you don't see it so go ahead check whatever social media account 
that you're on more frequent and follow me add me do all that good stuff until next time guys